I got room in my fumes. Yeah, she feel my mind with ideas. Yo, what's up, everyone? This is Blue Nova, and I'm here to bring you guys a new tutorial on how to get vocal quality like Travis Scott in his song Highest in the Room. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so that you're notified every time there's a new video. If you've been subscribed, stay subscribed because more videos are coming very soon. If you guys want to jump straight to getting the entire kit with my raw vocals inside so you guys have something to play with, you can get to BlueNovaBeats.com, go to the store, click on the vocal presets tab, and you can get the entire folder there. But let's go ahead and jump into it. Uh, for this tutorial, we're really just going to focus on the vocal, the instrumental that I was f finding online. I don't know. They weren't really suitable. They weren't really mixed too well. So we're just going to focus on the quality, but the quality is pretty much an exact match to Travis Scott. So I'm going to turn off what we have right here on the master. And we're going to just right click and work on the solo uh, lead vocal. So uh, after that, we're going to turn off all the other effects. And start with auto tune. So with, with Travis Scott's vocals, you want to make sure you have a lot of auto tune because you notice that in all his songs. So the retune speed, you want to make sure that's all the way to zero. For the scale, you want to have on minor. The key is D, and the input type I put on low middle voice. So this was gonna sound like with the auto tune. I got room in my fumes. She filled my mind up with ideas. I'm the highest in the room. All right, so after we have that, uh, know that I got you guys on the backup. So you can use picture in FL Studio and just, you really just wanna make sure that the uh, that the key and scale is set to the same thing as in Terrace. So I have that on D and minor and make sure the speed is all the way to fast so that it sounds really robotic and auto tuny So after you have that, you wanna make sure that we're gonna load in a fruity limiter. Now, most of the time I usually work with a compressor, uh, but uh, for whenever I'm trying to get Travis Scott vocals, I usually like to start with the vocals sounding full and then I go into EQing it. But that's just as far as my method of going about getting his quality. So with the tech, I left that alone. The release time, you want to bring the all the way down to zero. And then for the ceiling, the ceiling is set at zero decibels. So what you want to do is just crank the gain up until it's hitting the ceiling. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and play it. I got room in my fumes. She filled my mind up with ideas. I'm the highest in the room. Hope I make it out of here. So now that we have that, we're gonna move into going into the uh, parametric EQ too. Now, what I did is just started off with the first EQ to roll off the low muddiness. So that's what we're doing, just clearing up that low end. And we're cutting up to 100 hertz. And that's just gonna make sure that all that bottom end is cleaned up, but we're still gonna have that low end present. So you don't wanna kill too much of it. So this was gonna sound like. And let's go ahead and just start the vocal uh, at about right here. Room. In my fumes. She filled my mind up with ideas. I'm the highest in the room. Hope I make it out of here. She saw my eyes, she know I'm gone. So yeah, after we have that, we're gonna move into a, a Fruity 7 band EQ. Now, a lot of people don't use this too much and I actually like to use this EQ whenever I'm making a Travis Scott kind of vocal. So uh, what I did right here, just roll off the 63 Hertz region all the way down to negative 18. And pretty much you, you guys can see exactly what I did as far as some of the other areas. But um, also in the 250 region, that's kind of the frequency you, you want to kill for your vocals because a lot of that muddiness and thickness is within that, uh, was, is within that frame. A little bit right here in the 500 and also uh, really just the main important part just to boost and get that high-end presence that Travis Scott has. I went ahead and boosted up to 14 decibels in the AK region. So this is what the vocal is going to sound like with the uh, Fruity 7 Band EQ. Room. In my fumes. She filled my mind up with ideas. I'm the highest in the room. Now, after we have that, we're going to move into a DS stereo by Waves. If you don't have this, you can also use Maximus uh, and just use the preset uh, DS split band and just bring the band down a little bit towards DS in the vocal. Uh, just for this EQ, I mean, just for this de we're just going to bring the threshold down to where it's de it. And the frequency you can see is set at 5,506. The side chain, uh, just make sure it's selected on high pass. And I'm going to go ahead and play it. Room. In my fumes, she filled my mind up with ideas. 
I'm the highest in the room And without it Hope I make it out of here She saw my eyes, she know I'm gone I see some things that you might fear so now that we have that, we're gonna move into the next thing. Um, before, initially when I started this tutorial, I had the Fruity Delay 2 on. That's actually gonna be, uh, that's actually not going to be enabled on the effects tracks because Travis Scott's vocals in the lead in the beginning doesn't have any delay or if much uh, necessary. So you don't really wanna have that. You can add that later if you just wanna have it for your own benefit. Uh, the next thing I did is just added a Fruity Limiter and just bringing the release all the way down to zero and bring the gain up to where it's hitting the ceiling. Room. In my fumes. She filled my mind up with ideas. I'm the highest in the room. Now the very last thing we're gonna have on here is gonna be a Fruity Reverb 2. Now with the Fruity Reverb 2, we're just gonna add that uh, wideness and you know that Travis Scott feel to your vocals. So the important thing to note is just turning your stereo separation all the way to the left so that your vocal, uh, so that the reverb is sounding extremely wide. The bass turn all the way to the right and the size of the room all the way to, to the right. For the high cut, I have that 2.2 kilohertz. And for the wet level, I have that around 38, 40%. Uh, low cut, have that around 15,000. And that's pretty much all you want to have, or yeah, that's pretty much all you want to have. And the decay time is 2.2 seconds. Room. In my fumes, she filled my mind up with ideas. I'm the highest in the room. Hope I make it out of here. So now that we have that, we're going to move into the next thing. So after you have that, all you can do is just right click, go to file, mixer, track, state, as, left click and drag it onto the next mixer, insert. And uh, the difference in the ad libs is that there's really just more reverb. So right here in the reverb, uh, the settings for this is as so. So you just want to make sure you freeze the screen and copy these settings. I'm going to move into the track where uh, the ad libs are playing so you guys get an understanding. Fumes. Yeah, she filled my mind up with ideas. And moving over here. Room. It's lit. And just to uh, make sure that your ad libs, you don't want to have it the same level as the lead vocal. So the ad libs, you want to have it a little bit lower. Room. It's lit. So you can see at negative Hope I nine. Hope I make it out of here. Let's go. She saw my eyes, she know I'm gone. Uh, I see some. And um, we're gonna move into the background harmonies that you guys hear, which is like Travis Scott's traditional thing to do. So. Uh, the low ad lib that you guys are gonna hear is right here. For the harmony, uh, for the harmony uh, section, you want to make sure you're gonna have a fruity chorus because the vocals sound like they have a chorus widening effect. So you want to make sure that that's there. So as far as the settings, you just want to load it in and just have these values. Uh, for the percentage, you want to make sure it's around 50%. And for the reverb, these are the settings, which is generally the same thing as the ad libs. So I'm gonna play the harmony so you guys hear what it sounds like. Ooh, I... And if we play it together with the lead vocal, ad lib, and harmonies, this is what it sounds like. And let's just go ahead and go to the master channel. And the master channel is going to have a fruity convolver, which is cut at 15k because I noticed that the song is cut at 15k, and a lot of songs are. Um, just make sure you have that set on your master channel for the fruity soft clipper just have that but it's not really necessary for, as far as this tutorial because it's not an instrumental to make it stop at zero decibels so I'm going to play the entire vocals together uh, with the master channel and all the effects got the fastest car zoom hope we make it out of here so yeah, that's pretty much it. That's really what I did to get Travis Scott's vocal quality from his song Highest in the Room. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and thumbs up the video. Go ahead and comment in the comment section what you guys want to see next. If you need your song mixed and mastered, just go to BlueNovaBeats.com. Go to the contact form on the very bottom of the page and send me a message there. Like I said, the uh, my raw vocals will be inside for you guys to get. So it's very beneficial for every artist and producer. And... Uh, if you need any beats, just go to the store and you guys, you, you guys know what to do. Just bluenovebeats.com. But like I said, comment, subscribe, like, share, do all that. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. I'm doing a show. I'll be back soon. So that ain't what you want to hear. No. Now I